Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. In this session, we are going to see how to build a Java Spring Boot application using GitLab. And this session I am going to explain from the scratch. So let's start. This is the one documentation which I have created for referring the few steps. So let's follow these steps. So this is the first step. We have to create .gitlab share.tml file. In the second step, we need to clone the repository. Third step, we need to use Maven image because while building a Spring Boot application, we want in var or jar file. So Maven is required. Maven is a building tool. So we are using this one. And fourth step, we need to use artifact for storing var or jar file for a deploying purpose in the another stage. So let's go back to our GitLab account. This is our GitLab account. Let's click on the plus sign and click on the new file. Once you click on the new file, just give the name dot GitLab share.yaml file. Once you give the name, we have to write the stages. So let me give the stages here. First step, I want to give as a build application. Let's give the job name build application job. Let's give the stage build application. As I told you, we need to use an image, so we'll use here a Maven latest image. Okay, let me correct this typo and we'll give this some space here. Okay, great. Then after that, we need to write the script. First step, we need to clone the repository. Clone the repo repository for Spring Boot application. So you know where we'll get this repository. We are not a developer. Actually, we'll get the Java application from the developer team. They are pushing the application or code to the GitHub or GitLab repository. So we want this kind of repository. Once we'll get the repository code, we'll build this code here and we'll create the var file. And those var file will use for the testing and building purpose and deploying purpose. So let's let's go back to our documentation. Here I have an one example for one of the Spring Boot application which I found. In the grid, grid which I found in the Google let's copy this URL and search it out here so once I search it here I'll get this complete code here so this is a GS Spring Boot application under the main branch the complete code is there but we get the complete code inside this complete directory so this is in all the packages source code gradle build and maven wrapper everything is there so we need to clone the URL from here because we want to clone this complete repository in our GitLab YAML file. So let's copy this URL, go back to our YAML file. Then after that, we need to clone the repository. So how can we clone that? So using the git clone command, we can use, we can clone out this repository to here. But are you thinking these things is here working here? Actually, here we are using simply Maven latest image, and everything is happening inside this image. So we will not able to clone that because git clone command not found here. So we'll do one thing for avoiding these things. We'll utilize here one anchor variable. So we'll give like clone repository followed by ampersand with the clone repository and we'll use here simply git clone followed by url and we'll check as a ls so then we don't need to use this command here so we can remove from here so simply we'll call this anchor keywords variables 
from here to here so we can extend that using the extend keyword and one more way we can call this like star clone hyphen repo so whatever the data will execute under this dot clone repo it will call here and it will show this is done we are able to call this clone repository here then we will create a one directory here as a name we will give as a target then after that why we have created this target directory because we want to store the war file inside the artifact so first before going there we will write here artifacts as a path and inside the path we will give as a target so the war file we want to store here then after that here we will use here the cd and we want to go inside this gspring boot directory and inside the gspring boot directory as we have seen there is a complete folder inside the complete folder all the data packages available and there it will execute the maven command then after that we will use simply maven clean and packages so after executing this maven clean package command here it will create a one more target directory inside the complete directory so if you'll see ls hyphen la it will show one target directory has been created here so once it will create we want to move this in internal target directory war file or jar file inside this current target directory so how we can do that we'll do simply use mv command mv target slash star and jar so this is a folder which we will we'll go inside this folder and whatever the name it's there with the followed by the jar extension it will get from here and it will store inside the two step behind the directory why we are going inside a dot dot we want to go back under this current loop means at the root directory so as a two step back we will get this target directory and here we will store this jar file then after that we can see ls hyphen la it will not show this jar file then after that we will use cd dot dot slash dot dot two times and then we will see the output of the file let's scroll it down and commit the changes and let's see the output so there is a one error it's showing here let's edit and find out what errors are sh it's showing under the artifact config should be hash so let's edit it and find out the error so our build application is fine clone iphone repo clone everything is fine build application like we are given we are calling is repo as we have given the artifacts followed by colon as a path so here iphone is not required so that is a problem here so let's scroll it down and commit the change so once it's done go back to the build go inside the pipelines and monitor the pipeline output here just build it now pipeline it is in progress let's wait for the execution Okay, you can see here the job succeeded so let's follow step by step here as a logs let's scroll it down too many logs
box it's showing after executing the maven clean command okay so as we have added there the code eco clone the repository for spring boot application the printing statement it's showing here then after that we have used extended keyword for cloning the cloning has been done here it's showing as ls gs hyphen spring hyphen boot then after that we have created one directory here then after that we went inside the folder inside this cloning cloned data folder gs spring complete and there we have executed clean and package command for building the or or jar file so you can see the complete log it's showing for executed var or jar file let's scroll it down then after that we can see here the spring data it's running dot example spring boot hello control with the test and these are the tests here it's going on so let's scroll it down after executing the maven command simply we have added ls hyphen la you can see here it's showing the build success total time has been taken 18.135 second the two days date is showing here then you can see here after executing ls hyphen la it's showing here one target directory so inside the target directory it has been added this var or jar file so we already move this jar file from there to inside this target directory and you can see after the cd dot dot here it's showing one target directory and data has been updated inside this directory how can we we'll, how will get the var file so you can click on this browse button on the right side is there click on this browse click on the target and you can see spring boot complete 0.0.01 snapshot dot jar file is available with the 21.1 mb it's in size and you can download it from here so this is the way we can build a spring boot application using gitlab so i hope guys you understood this flow in the coming session i will bring the another topics related to deploying and testing in java application then after that also i will bring some session related to aws and python c so thank you for watching guys we'll see you in the next session